two years start to finish at the bare minimum. That's how long it's going to take you to become a PA. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the journey to becoming a PA so you can decide if this career path is right for you. My name is Luke. I'm a PA working in Western Canada, and this is one of the biggest questions I had when I was first looking at going to school. How long is it actually going to take me? The vast majority of PAs, myself included, have gone through a NACLA's accredited training program. This is a two-year training program which will get you a master's degree at the end of the process, but that is assuming that you've finished a bachelor's degree beforehand, so if not, you're looking at up to six years of schooling. And this training is broken up into two parts. Your first part, or the first year, is a didactic school year, so it's classroom-based learning. You'll be taking courses in things like anatomy, physiology, histology, as well as some that cover human development, the cellular mechanisms of disease, pathology, and perhaps you'll even touch on some medical photography. And then your second year of rotations is your clinical year or your practicum. And in this year, you'll be working alongside PAs, other pathologists and lab techs in the lab itself. And you'll be learning how to gross, how to do frozens, how to uh, do some medical photography, perform autopsies, and even be in a medical examiner's office performing some forensic autopsies. This is all competency based. So at the end of the second year, you're not gonna have a final exam, but you may have a project that you'll be working on throughout the second year. Once you graduate, assuming you've passed all your competencies, you'll be a PA. But if you want to be a certified PA, you'll have to go through either the CCCPA in Canada or the ASCP in the United States to register for and write their board certification exam after which you'll be a certified PA. Some of the benefits of this certification are potential hiring preference. Employers may prefer to hire certified PAs over those who are not certified. You may also get a higher starting salary when you first apply to a job. And some employers may also only hire certified PAs or at least those who are eligible for certification. And these exams are challenging and will cover material from autopsy and histology, anatomy, surgical and forensic pathology, as well as some laboratory operations which are focused a little bit more on the management side of things. These are all subjects that you cover to some degree during your school program, but it will require extra independent study on your part. Like I said, these exams are challenging. Luckily, employers will typically hire you if you are eligible to write the certification exam and pending your certification, typically within six to 12 months. And you have up to five years after graduating to write the certification exam. So potentially this whole process is a six plus year process if you have not gotten a bachelor's degree. If you already have one, you're looking at probably two years for a master's and then up to another year for a certification. Is this as long or as short of a process as you thought? Just let me know down in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll catch you next time.